Hi, how you doing? After the last few lessons that we had uh, up on YouTube, I had a few emails for some people wanting some technical exercises. So uh, I'm going to show you the first one now. It's an exercise called the spider. Uh, the PDF file is available on my website, which is www.justinguitar.com. So you might want to go and check that out. There's a big YouTube thing on the front page. If you click on that, it'll point you to where all of the pages are, where you can get the lesson notes for the videos. Um, so the exercise kind of goes like this. It's, a, it's really a right hand alternate picking or cross picking because it's about changing strings uh, exercise. It sounds like this. Uh, and now I'll go through and show you the left hand and the right hand and explain the bits and pieces. So uh, Jedi, over to the left hand please mate. Okay, so here we are at the left hand. Now, the easiest way to think of this is like there's three invisible strings off the bottom of the guitar neck. Now, we're always going to play from the thinnest string to the thickest string. If we've only got one finger on, we'll just play that one note to start off with. Now, if we move all of our fingers diagonally over, so now just these two are on our invisible strings, we've got this note here on the sixth fret and this one on the fifth fret. So we play that one first, then the, the heading down getting thicker strings. Then we move them over again, and we play third finger, second finger, first finger, all on different strings. Then little finger comes over, so they've, again they've moved all over. And again they move over. And again they move over. And again, and this time, first finger is not going to get played because he's off the end. They moved over, so it's just that time little finger and third finger, and then just little finger. Let me do that again a little faster. Okay, now when we come back the other way, which is example two, if you've got the PDF file from the uh, website, uh, we start with little finger, and this time we go thicker string to thinner string each time. So, started with little finger with the imaginary rest off the guitar neck, then we're going to do third finger, little finger, and again move it over, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, first, second, third, fourth, each time. you want to do the exercises concurrently so just one into the next but before we get into doing that let's have a look at the right hand so over to right hand please Jedi okay so here we are looking now at the spider exercise for the right hand picking now the most important thing with this is that it remains alternate picking all the time so you'll always be picking down and then up down and then up we're never going to do two strokes in the same direction so, we'd start off with a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're finishing with an upstroke there. Make sure that you get that consistent. Here we are going back up again. We're going to start with a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you try not to miss the strings like I just did, but anyway. One thing I find really helpful for the right hand is using an anchor, just having a little finger touching down there kind of gives you a way of judging the distances between the notes for the pick out. So, I hope you've got all of that stuff down. Um, one of the things that's most important with this exercise is that you start doing it really, 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 really slowly. 
Don't try and do it fast, you'll just develop bad habits and bad techniques. So definitely the idea is to start really slow, like or slower. It can be quite helpful to start with just the left hand, do all down picks to start off with. Just get used to what the left hand has to do first. Once you've got that a bit automated, then you can start thinking about the right hand and applying all of that alternate picking. Um, yeah, but the key is to do it slow. It goes for pretty much everything, but particularly with this exercise. Um, after you've done the exercises, the first two that I've just shown you, you'll probably find that there's another two on the page. The two we've done have got the, the kind of the diagonal, if you like, going this way. There's another two on the same page which has the diagonal going that way. So you get this. Etc. Um, it's exactly the same picking process, it just kind of changes the angles that your pick has to work at. So uh, I'd get into that second half though after you've mastered the first half. So uh, I hope that helps with your uh, cross alternate picking and uh, I'll see you for some more soon. Take care.